I answer to almost anything. <laughs> uh, did you see this last night? Senator Marco Rubio says the president's gun control proposal is proof that he does not believe in the Second Amendment. I actually think the president, and he just doesn't have the guts to admit it, is not a believer in the Second Amendment, although he states that he is. If he doesn't want the Second Amendment to be in the Constitution, or if he wants to reform the Second Amendment, then have the guts to, to admit that. Here to weigh in, Fox News senior judicial analyst and part of the People Group, uh, <laughs> Judge Andrew Napolitano. Can, can uh, I, do you can believe? I, yeah, go ahead. Can I say that Senator Rubio has the political courage, in, in my view, to put his finger right directly on the problem that we confront. Which is? And I applaud him and agree with him, which is that the President of the United States, the Vice President of the United States, their entire administration, the people that brought us Obamacare, do not believe in parts of the Constitution. They don't believe in the Tenth Amendment that reserves powers to the states, and they don't believe in the Second Amendment that guarantees us the right to keep and bear arms and they will do everything they can to wear away at those parts of the constitution with which they disagree remember when they started their jobs they took an oath to uphold the constitution all of it whether they agree with it or not so so some people would say that that's an extremist point of view that the president of the united states does not believe in the second amendment and actually wants to abolish it or get rid of it how do you defend yourself on that well, he signed uh, 23 executive orders uh, yesterday with children as props, another issue for another time, the propriety and wisdom uh, of that. Each one of those uh, enhances the authority of people in the government who work for him mm -hmm. to intrude into the privacy rights of people who keep and bear arms. We saw a massive intrusion into those privacy rights three weeks ago when a crazy newspaper publisher north of New York City decided to publish the names and addresses of people who lawfully uh, are authorized to own, uh, to own guns. Right. The president yesterday, among the many uh, executive orders he signed, signed one saying, nothing in the health care law shall prevent physicians from asking their patients if they own guns. Mm -hmm. What business is it of a physician if a patient owns the gun? Why should the president be getting involved in this? And when he says nothing shall prohibit, the next step is physicians shall ask and report. Because remember, whatever physicians say now in this modern Obamacare era, I'm going like this because they have to use laptops, <laughs> the government gets to hear about. What about if the patient, though, has mental illness? It is not the job of a physician to decide whether his or her patient, patient is qualified to own a gun. A lot of people have mental illnesses. Not all mental illnesses are gun disqualifying. Not all mental illnesses are obvious. Not all people go to physicians for mental illnesses. Does the president, this is back to, to Senator Rubio, does the president dislike the Second Amendment so much that he wants to deputize physicians to put their noses in their patients' businesses about how they protect themselves? All of this is an example. Right of an administration determined to infringe upon the right to keep and bear arms. That's why this great national debate that we're having, the country's ablaze with debate about uh, right. firearms. Yeah. We cannot let them do that. All right. Amazing and interesting discussion. Judge Andrew Napolitano, always great to see you. Thanks. Pleasure.